habari yako habari ya kaji kaji ni nzuri mzuri chwani mabukabuti mabukashani mabukabwanji oh it's muli bwanji muli shani muli wuti Okay guys. Ich bin nicht se afrikanische Sprache heute. Ich bin afrikanisch. Ich bin jambianisch. Mein Name ist Techno Tambo. Ich komme aus Zambia und ich liebe es, aber Europa ist mein Musikhaus. So guys. I rock using African language. I rock using Zambian language. I'm your everything guy. Come on. <laughs> My name is Techno Tambo. Huh? That is that. Yo. There's a guy who, who asked me and he was like, Yo, I see you. You make vlogs a lot from Rotspark. What's the deal with Rotspark? Uh, Rotspark is my... Uh, my... Uh, and there... Uh, Bonut <laughs> Google that for I know what it means in English. This is my Andere Bonut. Okay. So guys uh I'm feeling bored and hungry. <laughs> so I wanna walk around and see if I can get anything to eat. I mean, the shopping mall. See what I'm saying? Yabba! Look at that car. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful car, huh? Okay, in Zambia, Land Rover is like a biggie, man. If you drive a Land Rover or any of those crazy cars. Yeah, big deal. It means you are you're living large. You see what I'm saying? Because uh, most of us don't even drive anything. If you're gonna get a car, man, then you're gonna get just some some simple car. You know what I mean? We're minimalist. We don't live large. Okay. So guys, uh, I wanna ask you guys. In your hood, do you have this type of drainage? Okay, let me be honest. I don't understand something about this drainage. It's like incomplete and looks ugly yet next door there is a very rich company Airtel that it require someone like me to go there and tell them that you guys outside why don't you prep this thing you know what I'm saying make it look good you see what I'm saying I mean they are a multi-million dollar company well multi-billion dollar if you look at them from the global perspective you see what I'm saying they are not a simple company, they are a very big deal. You get what I'm saying? The first time I heard of Airtel was when I was in India. You see what I'm saying? That's way back. Airtel was like the main, the main phone company in that country. And over here in Zambia we had Celtel. Then suddenly, the Indian company came and bought the Zambian company. You see what I'm saying? And uh, Airtel became the dominant mobile phone company in Zambia. You see what I mean? And I was like, wow, this is interesting because not long ago I was in I was living in India. You know what I'm saying? And I was using Airtel in India. You see what I mean? Then I just came home and boom, suddenly Airtel comes here. <laughs> so each time I talk to my Indian friends, I tell them that look man, I'm using Airtel. Can you believe it? You know what I'm saying? And they're like wow. You know what I'm saying? Things move. 
okay? Okay, basically, Airtel is a very serious company. I mean, look at its performance over here. I'm, I'm not endorsing Airtel because I'm, 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 I ain't been paid to endorse Airtel. All that I'm saying is that my work, when I want to upload my videos, okay? When I want to upload my videos, I find it easier if my bundle is with Airtel. You see what I'm saying? I know there are other companies out there. The problem is these other companies, we don't know if their transmitters are working that day or they are not. We don't know. You see what I mean? They exist as mobile phone companies, but their transmitters are not guaranteed to work. I know we have electricity challenges, but then how come Airtel gives me much of a guarantee that their transmitters are gonna work? You know what I'm saying? Than these others. It means that these others are just playing board games. I mean, if you want to play board games in business, play board games, man. Other people want to make the, the green. <laughs> they want to make the buck. You see what I mean? <laughs> wow. Interesting, eh? That's the showground, man. But, uh, if I was the owner of the showground, I mean, I'll do something about places like that. There could be snakes in there, man. There could be hovering snakes. Oops. It's crazy, man. Wow, I like this car. Huh. I don't know if it's me, but there seems to be a lot of Ford Rangers in the sack. You know what I'm saying? A lot of Ford Rangers. And, uh... Whoop! The viewboard, you know, right? <laughs> He's a biker, man. That's what bikers do. They scare off others on the road. You get what I'm saying? I'm just wondering what's happening to these viewboards. They are like off, you know? And the other one as well is off. I'm just wondering how one would launch such an expensive project without any any backup. I'm saying if you're you gonna put something up like this, it's a very expensive thing. It's not a simple thing. You know what I'm saying? Then you, you gotta have to have a backup. Like, what am I gonna do for the system? <laughs> These kids. They see you. They are hungry. They want food. Ah, come on. Come on. Okay, if I can get a drink, maybe a five quarts or something, I'll come, I'll come back and give you. You know what I mean? Bike ride. Do you see that? They look like they're coming from very far away. Can you see the bike? Okay, people these days bike from Europe to Africa. You see what I mean? So when you see people biking like that, it's not necessary that they live here. They could just be biking from one part of the world, going to another part of the world. Biking now has become a big business because of YouTube. These guys have YouTube channels and they have subscribers. So YouTube pays them. You see what I'm saying? YouTube pays them. As they bike around, they report on what they see and blah, blah, blah. Okay? So guys, I'll be with you in a minute, so just chill. I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, it's been here. I bought what I wanted to buy. One or two little things. If you haven't seen the shopping mall, please check out the end of this video. I'm going to link up a link to the video where I've put, you know, I've gone through the shopping mall like in detail so that you can just have a glimpse. Now one thing that you should know is that this was the first shopping mall to ever exist in Osaka. Was it? 
there used to be only one shopping mall it was called Simpson. well it's not a genuine shopping mall <laughs> um, what I'm saying is when you talk about like industry grade shopping malls this was the first one to ever exist you see what I'm saying we used to have the non industry standard shopping malls basically you couldn't call them shopping malls because when you look at them from the global scale they just you know match but this one matched you get what i'm saying so manda hill has that prestigious place in the in, in the zambian society because it was the first legit shopping mall to ever exist okay i'm saying legit because i mean a real shopping mall you get what i'm saying yeah Shabbat shalom. 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 Shabbat sh